Thank you. Well, uh, Richard, thank you very much for having us here at the New York Auto Show, and especially because we're sitting in your new car, <laughs> the Ghost Series 2, which is fantastic, uh, especially sitting in the back. But this is a car that a lot of people like to drive too, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, um, Ghost is very much a driver's car, and uh, we're sitting in Series 2 Ghost, uh, which is the first time the car has been shown in North America. Sales will start in September. Uh, so there's a number of um, very... Uh, important revisions to the car just to keep it as the pinnacle driver's luxury sedan yeah and uh, we're just uh, passing the the 10th anniversary of the new Rolls Royce right? mm. that's correct yeah correct yeah last year um, was the that 10 year anniversary and the company continues to go from strength to strength yeah and uh, since that 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 happened with the new Phantom uh, it's yep. it's been a, a huge success mm. um, even though obviously it's very exclusive and, and mm. actually you want to keep it like that. Yeah. Uh, but um, y you seem to see in more cars and fantastic, especially the not one that is next to us, the right, mm. that is just out of, out of the, on sales, it's, it's fantastic. So a great growth in 10 years, which is not very long. I mean, for your long history, yes, it, but... Uh, exactly, it's been a fantastic 10 years. I mean, Phantom um, re-established the Rolls-Royce brand as pinnacle luxury yeah. car. Um, and um, then we, we had feedback from um, potential customers who said, you know, I love Phantom, but I love a Rolls Royce that I could really drive day to day. And Phantom's made just a little bit too large, maybe more of a chauffeur driven car. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the inspiration behind Ghost, uh, which we launched around four years ago. And of course, that took you know, Rolls Royce to another level. Um, with uh, that addition to the range and then last year um, sales for Wraith started uh, around October time in the US um, our two-door fastback um, so beautiful design and uh, even more of a driver's car and uh, we're really pleased that um, the majority of Wraith customers are new to the Rolls-Royce brand so they really uh, appreciate um, the, the way that we've sort of reinterpreted Rolls-Royce in this coupe form. Yeah. Um, it's appealing to a much younger customer uh, and also more females to the brand. Yeah, I, I had the opportunity to drive uh, the car last year in Phoenix, yeah. Arizona, on the US launch for it, and it was fantastic. And you're right, like a lot of people, uh, the car draws attention to a lot of people, especially mm. younger people, because the Rolls-Royce is very, the Phantom is very imposing. I mean, like you mm. see, like you almost have to respect it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to yeah. like too much. Yeah. But this car is kind of... Uh, if I might say it, uh, more like more fun in, in a very elegant way. Yes. But it's a, it, it, it appeals to more uh, a younger audience, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, um, we've been able to offer a level of bespoke our personalization program on Wraith from the beginning, um, and part of that is uh, an example would be the two-tone paintwork. Um, so it's possible with Wraith to create a very different um, appearance to the car whether you choose a more subdued, like a mono black yeah. paintwork scheme, or you can go for something more flamboyant in two-tone with some uh, some contrast. Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, something for everybody. Yeah, and the spoke program especially, it's, uh, it's that. So you can do anything that you want in a car, I guess. Is there limits? Uh, or does Rolls Royce has like a limit on, on what you will do with in terms of colors the, or something? The limits are driven by legislation. Um, oh, okay. You know, so that's th those are the the uh, the areas where we we um, have to stop. Obviously, everything is fully tested. Everything we do through the bespoke program is fully tested to to Rolls Royce quality standards. Um, in terms of paint, you know, forty four thousand paints to choose from. Yeah. Or we can go beyond that and find something very unique. So very there's no legislation for colors like neon colors orange. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness, no. I mean, <laughs> You know, I think it's fantastic. We're all individuals, and it's yeah. fantastic that um, customers can show their individuality with paint, as one example. Um, so it's great that there's no limit. And also in the interior, even though this is like the, the top of, of, of the line in every aspect, materials, mm. craftsmanship, yeah, yeah. and all that, uh, customers can also customize the car in, in different ways. That's right, yeah. Obviously, uh, you know, we can personalize the leather color. So we've um, leather or matched the leather color to um, like Fendi vintage leather coat um, from one customer um, and different veneer um, types. We had one customer who had a tree which fell down near oh, their really? country home or on the, on the grounds of and their country home. Wood? And he approached us as a Rolls-Royce customer and said, look, you know, I don't want to 
I don't want to waste this wood, I don't want to just burn the wood. Um, is there a way it could be recycled into a Rolls Royce? Wow. And, and that's what we did when <laughs> so. we were able to do that. So, um, yeah, um, popular requests are things like headrest embroidery, um, where somebody may have their initials in the headrest yeah. or, or an emblem or a company uh, logo uh, or some kind of design. And the great thing about the bespoke program at Rolls Royce is it allows our customers to, to work hand in hand with the bespoke designers. So, you know, you've got that the creative um, direction from the customer coupled with the creative abilities of our designers. Yeah. And we see some wonderful designs that come out of that process. And uh, for, uh, for people who are not familiar with the process of just like making the, the, the Rolls Royce, I mean, it, it's a very intense hand, yeah. hand controlled process, right? Absolutely. To give you one example, um, when we, like all car companies, we have a production line, an assembly line. Uh, but we have more people working in the wood shop than we have working on the assembly line. We have more people working in the leather shop than we yeah. have working on the assembly line. Um, so those are the biggest the, departments. The it's the detail, it's the craftsmanship that goes yeah. into the cars, and that's what makes Rolls Royce, you know, pinnacle luxury product. It's the attention to detail and the craftsmanship. Yeah, and the uh, Ghost Series too. Uh, oh. Obviously. Yeah, Rolls Royce changes in terms of uh, creating more, putting, in putting more technology in the car and all that. Mm -hmm. The essence of the car doesn't change that much because you want to keep it exclusive and all of that. Mm. But what's new in the in the Ghost uh, Series Two? So for um, Ghost Series Two, we have a new front face to the car. So the headlamps have changed. Yeah. Um, we've introduced a, a, a full ring of light, daytime running lights for the headlamps, and those um, feature LED technology for the first time. Um, the lower grille is wider than before. Um, the main grille is um, slightly higher, so Spirit of Ecstasy sits slightly higher. So we've kind of increased the height at the front of the car and also the impression of width to give the car more of a stance, more yeah. of a proud front. Um, we have a, a channel uh, tapering to the front of the car on the bonnet. Yeah. And that's almost, uh, it comes back from the Spirit of Ecstasy backwards almost like um, a, a sort of jet stream coming back yeah. from a, an aeroplane or the wake of a, a yacht, for mm -hmm. example. And that's something you see from the driver's seat from behind the steering wheel. It's a wonderful feature. Um, we have all new seats, front and rear, to increase comfort levels um, even further, um, upgraded materials in the cabin, and then technology. Um, so the car uh, now features our satellite-aided transmission, which was showcased on Wraith. Yeah. Uh, and that's a system that uses sat-nav data and the position of the car and the driving style, uh, the manner in, in which the car has been driven to determine which gear the car should be in. So the system looks at the sat-nav data, what's the curvature of the corner that's coming up um, and therefore what's the most appropriate gear. And that all makes for a very effortless, smooth Rolls-Royce driving yeah. experience. So driving it not only makes you look better, but makes you a better driver. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, it's, it's important to... I say complement the driver, yeah. not take over. We don't want systems which take over and um, control the from the driving. Yeah. You know, our um, customers are very much in control of their life. Um, uh, so we don't want to take control away from the driver, but it's a way of sort of complementing their driving uh, yeah. to, to make it effortless. Well, excellent. Uh, thank you very much for your time and for letting us enjoy the back of the seat and maybe we'll soon we'll get a chance to drive it. Absolutely. You're thank very you, welcome. Richard. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.